Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing VIP Hotel Club in the golf. All right, it's one big ass uh golf resort or um, like little golf mini mansion or whatnot, but it's very nice. I'll show you a couple of screenshots right here. So this is the inside part of the interior. As you can see, it's, um, I think it has about three floors. But it's, it's pretty big, it's pretty huge. It has a lot of props, cars, and people, and even got a helicopter in the back. <laughs> so it's pretty dope. Now this one for the requirements uh, is gonna be scripthookv, scripthookv.net. Um, and also native UI I will have a video showing you how to install those down in the description uh, we are going to need map editor also there's going to be a link in the description right here leading you to map editor then there will be another link leading you to object spawn unlocker okay so there's going to be three links right here the VIP hotel golf um, uh, VIP hotel club in the golf map editor and then object spawn unlocker okay now once you have all those downloaded it should look something like this right here on my left hand side i have a folder called tutorial this actually says tut but i have our map editor downloaded our uh, gta mp unlock all objects that is the object unlocker then we have our vip hotel club okay now as you can see they uh come as compressed zip folders which is a com compressed file. You're gonna need 7-Zip or WinWar in order to unzip these files. So go ahead and Google 7-Zip or WinWar and download those. They are free and install those, all right? Now, once you have done that, or if you have a uh, proper program that can uh, unzip the compressed files, go ahead and right click on that folder, Map Editor. Then we're gonna pick 7-Zip or WinWar, whichever one you have. Go to the sub menu and select extract to map editor. All right. Once we do that, you'll see another folder pop up right there. Okay. Now uh, let's go down and extract the other ones the same way. Just going to go to 7-Zip and extract the folder. Okay. Go down to VIP Hotel, right click, 7-Zip, boom. All right. Now we can go ahead and delete the, all these um, compressed files that we already extracted. Let's go ahead and delete those. All right. Now on my right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up. Right here is where we are going to be installing our uh, GTA MP unlock all objects. So let's go on over to our folder right here. Oops. There we go. Open up that folder and it's going to have two folders. V point V 1.0 then V 1.1 we're gonna choose the second one V 1.1 open that one up and we are going to select this file that I have highlighted it's an ASI file we're gonna select this drag and drop it into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory just like so I already have it now let's go back to our downloads now we can go to our map editor all right we're gonna select map editor open this up all right now we are going to go to our grand theft auto 5 directory and open up our scripts folder if you don't have a folder named scripts then create one but if you have watched the script hook v installation video for the link that's in the description then you should already have this scripts folder so let's open up your scripts folder Let's go back over to our map editor. We are going to grab and highlight all these files except native UI because we already have it. And plus this probably is an old one. All right. So let's go ahead and take all these files that I have highlighted. Drag these files and drop them into your scripts folder. I already have it as you can see. Now once you're done with that. We could uh, go back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory by just selecting Grand Theft Auto 5. And we could go back to our downloads and 
open up the VIP Hotel Club folder. Once you open that up, it is going to have two XML documents and the ASI for Unlock All Objects. Now, since we already have installed Unlock All, Unlock All Objects, we are only going to be installing Golf 1 and Golf 2. Now, before we do that, <clears throat> excuse me, what we need to do is go to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and create a folder named Maps. All right, just create a new folder and name it Maps. Once you have that created in your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, just go ahead and open up Maps folder. And then you want to come over to your VIP Hotel Club folder. And you want to take these two that I have highlighted right here, Golf and Golf 2. You want to drag and drop those right into your Maps folder. All right. So this should look just like this inside your Maps folder. Just two XML documents, okay? All right. Now there is a important thing I want to point out. The author um, also wants us to load each golf XML document at two different locations, okay? So the golf XML, the first one, we are going to be loading right here at Michael's house, okay? As you can see, it's right outside Michael's door in his driveway. That's where we're gonna be loading the first golf, okay? Now, for the second golf, which is Golf 2 XML, we are going to be loading that up at the golf course, all right? He has a picture right here for you on the same download page, all right? So just to point that out, before we go ahead and load up our files, we wanna be in the correct location, okay? So now that we have all the proper stuff installed, let's go ahead and run the game. All right, once you load into the game, uh, switch your character to, a, well, it, you're, you could be any character. It doesn't have to be Michael. I just happen to be Michael. <laughs> All right, so according to the picture, the author wants us to load the first XML right here, all right? So what we're going to do is press F7 on our keyboard, and that will open up the map editor menu, all right? It's F7, that's the function key all the way at the top of the keyboard, all right? Once that's opened up, scroll down to load map. Select load map and then scroll down to file chooser all right and then select maps folder now we're going to load the very first golf okay just the regular golf xml all right it's going to be a very quick load as you can see and then when it's done at the bottom left it will say loaded map for map editor map editor all right so now we want to make our way to the second location which will be over here at the golf course. It's gonna be in this area. And you wanna come like over about right, say about right here, all right? So that's where you wanna um, load the second one at. We're gonna teleport there right now. All right, we are here. Now this is where the house is gonna load up at. Let's make it nice and sunny. Make sure that the time is noon. All right, so you wanna load it around somewhere like right here. Yeah, I think I'm in the right place. <laughs> Actually, let's stand back a little bit more. There we go. All right, so let's press F7 on the function key on the keyboard, F7, and then click load map, select file chooser, Scroll down to maps and then golf2.xml. As you can see, everything is building right in front of us. So just uh, sit back and be patient and wait until we get that message at the bottom left of our screen from Map Editor letting us know that the map has been loaded. All right, we got our message, map editor loaded map. So it looks like everything have loaded up. Um, I'm going to open up one of my mod menus. 
so just so we can get a good bird's eye view of everything yep looks like everything has loaded up all right we got all of our people all of the props we have our uh, nice little driveway I mean our nice little bridge thing right here that leads to the driveway where we have our little nice custom cars out here we have a nice little helicopter out there and this driveway leads all the way to the street all right so once you load it once you load it in you could go ahead drive around the city and then drive back and um, you could come up this little nice little driveway park your car so this is everything right here let's take a little quick little uh, detour inside well not detour but a quick tour of inside I'll go in first person mode as you can see we have a nice little kitchen and everything and um, the beginning of the house that you can access through the outside we have a little ice cream little ice cream stand right here I guess you sell an ice cream and uh, milkshakes and stuff like that all right we got uh, the, the lifeguard taking a break <laughs> that's in the house right there um, we're gonna go in there I just want to go around and kind of show you around the pool area we got some lifeguards everywhere we got the ladies out doing their thing doing their tanning getting their tan on as you can see it's a lot of people too it's built up I mean this would be perfect for uh, role play videos or whatnot we got little jacuzzis out here we got hot dog stands and soda machines and stuff out here we got nice boats all right we even got the people that carry your golf clubs <laughs> and we got a nice little bridge right here this is nice this is nice all right so if you come over here we got a nice little cars you could choose from it's pretty dope and nice little cars out here and we got our helicopter back there now let's go ahead and check out the inside real quick and here we have our um, I guess our concierge you know the little front desk or whatnot and in here we have a nice little lobby waiting area with the TV and as you can see we see outside to all the cars if we come down here, we got uh, some more lounging space with a little pool table or whatnot. We also have a full bar on the first floor right here. All right, a bunch of people chilling around here. Wow. <laughs> What's going on there? All right. And around here, we have a nice little place where people can sit down and eat. You know the detailed uh, props around here the trash you get the soda machines the little condiment things up here everything is uh, detailed oh yeah well, we got our little soda machines here and cups and all that stuff looks like a little break room right like the lunch room hey is this a uh, Franklin's yeah it's Franklin's ex-girlfriend huh? got the barbecue pit this is where we started out at outside all right let's go take a little uh, run upstairs this is how you come upstairs right up here all right now this is important part also I wanted to share with you when you load up the map you're not going to be able to enter into these doors right here okay so what you're going to going to need is a uh, map editor I mean not map editor uh, menu you can use menu to do this neat little trick I'm going to do right here I'll also have a link down in the description on how to uh, download menu but for right now if you do have menu you want to open up your menu scroll all the way down to object spooner and then select spooner mode all right okay now here are those doors there's three of them what you want to do is make sure that your marker is highlighted on that door and at the bottom of the screen as you can see 
it says add to database that's what we want to do we want to add this door to database by pressing up on our um, controller or press up um, with the arrows on your keyboard all right now once you add that door to um, your database go ahead and go to the next door oops right go to the next door add that to the database and we are going to add this one to the database also all right once those have been added select Y so you can exit out of object exposure now we could just go ahead and scroll down and select manage entity database and if you scroll down we should have three of the same objects all right these are the doors that we just entered into our database now select the first one scroll down to dynamic and select it as soon as you select it it will turn green exit back out select the next door down scroll down to dynamic and select it exit back out select the last door on the list scroll down and select dynamic back out back out back out the menu now we are able to enter into the doors all right now inside this room looks like a nice little uh, master bedroom area or whatnot there's two beds you got a larger view of the golf course your own TV I like the nice little detail with the carpets and the paintings on the wall. You also got the bathroom over here with the shower, the shitter, and the bathtub. Nice little dual sink, his and hers, and uh, you can do some washing also, wash your clothes. Must be expensive uh, for the membership here at this golf course, right? Let's get back in the first person mode. All right. Now, if you go in this room right here, as you can see, it pretty much got the same setup with the bathroom, shower, shitter, and bath, <laughs> and the dual sinks. Okay. With the washing machine. All right. We got the burning candles and everything. All right. This one is set up different. We still got two beds, some paintings on the wall. A nice little living room area where you can watch some TV and enjoy the beautiful view outside it's pretty dope pretty dope Whoa. now let's go in this door which is the last door on this floor once you enter into here they have a balcony all right we got the ladies out here tanning so far we got some people chilling right there uh, let's make sure that we uh, keep it light and bright around here. Now, if you continue all the way inside, we have a nice little living room area right here with the TVs. We also have a staircase leading us up to the next floor, which is the third story. And if we go further in here, we have two beds along with a computer table and computer screens. This is all set for us. Go check our emails or Life Invader and all that little good stuff now if we uh, continue up these steps right here it leads us straight into um, a bathroom area there's a big huge shower right here wow this is dope that is a large shower right there and then you got your sinks on the side of the shower with some extra shirts and towels and stuff washing machine and we got some little vanity tables as well as our sink and if we come outside we have another balcony where the ladies just love to get their tan on that yep 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 little hot tub out here along with the view that's a nice little view right there that's off the hook I like that all right and as you can see it you know like the whole it's like a log cabin type of thing right like all this wood everywhere I like that though Michael likes that yeah this is nice y'all this is very nice 
got a soda machines everywhere. Alright. And if we leave out of here. Oh, actually, we could go to where she's at. Hold on. Hello. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Alright. Hey, it's hanging. Oh, we can come over here. Okay, so we could come through. Check out what's going on in the desk area right over here. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty dope, y'all. This is pretty dope. I think I'm going to go ahead and jump in one of these cars right here. And, uh... I'm going to jet on out. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh man, as soon as you get in the car, you automatically get two stars. <laughs> oh wow, we automatically got the, the police on us. Uh. Well, uh, this is going to be it for this video, y'all. If y'all enjoyed it, man, please smash that like button. And definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share the video with your friends as well. This is Games and Graphic. Me and Mike have to ditch the cops real quick. We'll see y'all next time. Uh oh, 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 get out, Mike. You got just the car. I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers.